Okay, we're going to look at problem uh, AP 15 on page 298 and 299 of your book. And we have Jainthi and Krish each own 50% general partnership interest in the JK partnership. The following information is available regarding the partnership's 2010 activities, which I have listed here. Sales revenue 500000 selling expenses 200000 Appreciation of thirty thousand, long term capital gain nine, non deductible expenses two, our partnership debts beginning and end, and our partnership distributions of fifty apiece. So first of all we want to calculate the partnership's ordinary income and indicate which items must be separately stated. So in our text um, on the page uh, starting on page two seventy seven we we talk about that partnerships frequently recognize income gain expense losses that don't relate to business operations. So for things like security and interest, uh, partnerships may regain, uh, may, may recognize a gain or loss on sale securities um, or contributions to charity. Anything that's not included in the calculation of ordinary business are reported on Schedule K, Form 1065, and allocated to partner so that are disclosed on the partner's returns. And these are separately stated in items and retain their tax characters as they pass through to the partner. So basically what that means is, is remember, a partnership's a pass-through uh, entity. So we're passing through expenses to our individual income tax returns. So if it's not, first of all, we're going to calculate ordinary income. The rest goes is going to be handled separately. Okay, so for our ordinary income, our ordinary income, we're going to take our 500000 and we're going to subtract our selling expenses of two hundred. We know those are deductible. And also, we know our depreciation expense is deductible. Okay, we looking up at our other items, uh, long-term capital gain. Okay, capital gains from our sell on securities is not part of ordinary income, so that is going to be a pass-through maintaining its original form as a long-term capital gain which will go on to the individual partners or portion of that goes on the individual partners individual sheet uh, non-deductible expenses same thing 2000 through so our ordinary income for the partnership is going to be two hundred and seventy thousand dollars our separately stated items will be our non-taxable I mean our non deductible expenses are non-deductible expenses of 2000 and our long-term capital gains and those amounts um, at 2000 or nine thousand dollars is also going to be flow through on that separate schedule and flows through to each partner's amount um, along with the distribution of course of the hundred thousand dollars is not going to be part of our of our calculation remember um, remember that our income calculations on partnerships is irregardless of the cash actually received. So basically that's handled on a cruel basis. So even if we don't take a distribution, we are still going to be responsible for our share of ordinary income. So with that in mind, let's go on to part B, calculate Jayanthia's, I don't know where they come up with these names, allocable share of partnership items. Okay, so what we're going to do is we have our partnership structure is 50% each so she is going to have ordinary income of 270,000 divided by 2 or 50 per, times 50% however you want to do it so we're going to have ordinary income of 135,000 and we are also going to have um, a long term my long-term capital gain is going to be half of that so it's going to be equal this times 0.5 so I'm also going to be she's also going to be reporting forty five hundred dollars of capital gain 
Okay, other things that she's going to have in her partnership is the non-deductible expenses and her share of that. So it's going to be 2,000 times 0.5. And um, our distribution, so we had a distribution of 50,000. So that is going to be her share of of the partnership activity for the period of time. So that is part B. Uh, part C, if she had no other sources of taxable income, what would her gross income be for 2010? Well, easy enough. Our, her taxable income would be her ordinary partnership income of 135000 and then she's going to have a long-term capital gain of of four thousand. Whoops. Right, let's do the amount there. Four thousand five hundred. Okay. So part of it's going to go in our income. Part of it she's going to be reporting a separate schedule as a long-term capital gain. Her total taxable income is going to be one thirty-nine five. So, total taxable income of 139500 So finally, let's go do Part D then. And Part D, we're saying at the beginning of the year, the, her adjusted basis in her partnership was 25000 Okay, so her adjusted tax basis at the beginning was 25000 Oops, one too many zeros. Okay, so what changes did she have? Well, we're going to have obviously our ordinary income of 135,000 is going to increase her basis. Okay, her capital gain of 4,500 is going to increase her basis. Okay. Her non-deductible expenses of a thousand dollars will actually reduce her basis. Okay, and her distribution of fifty thousand will also reduce her basis. Okay, so that's how remember that's how we handle uh, distributions in a partnership. It's a reduction in the basis. It's not affecting the taxable income. We've already paid the taxes based on the income. Okay, a distribution is taking our portion of the money out, so that's a non-taxable distribution, and it's going to reduce our basis of what we have left in the partnership. Then we also have our share of the debt increase. So we had. Uh, Our debt increased by ten thousand or by twenty thousand dollars. My share of it is ten thousand. Okay, so that will actually increase the basis um, of my of my partnership interest because we can remember we can deduct when we and that's important when we take withdrawals. So that will increase our basis to pay off our debt there. So anyway, our total basis is going to be equal to do my sum 123,500 is my ending ta partnership tax basis for um, Janthia. So that is how we um, calculate and tr flow through on ordinary income. Um, some separately stated items such as our long-term capital gain, and other expenses that cannot be um, that aren't part of ordinary income and are reported separately and passed through.